Hello everybody! This video will show you how to install macOS on an Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine. The Apple policy is that macOS should not be used with hardware from other manufacturers. However, what can you do if you need to use the macOS? In this video, I'm going to tell you how to install macOS High Sierra operating system on a VirtualBox virtual machine, which means that an Apple operating system will work as an add-in or simultaneously with Microsoft Windows. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. To install macOS on a Windows computer, you will need to download and install a virtual machine, Oracle VirtualBox. This software is free. I will give the download link in the description. You have to download and install the Windows host software package. By the way, in our channel there is a detailed video about creating an Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine and recovering data from VDI, a virtual disk of such machine. I will give the link in the description as usual. And you have to find an official ISO image of macOS installation disk to install the operating system of the version you want. In my case, that is macOS High Sierra. While things are more or less clear when it comes to installing VirtualBox, there is a question. Where can you get a macOS image? You can create it yourself by using a computer where such operating system is installed, or you can ask anyone using iMac or MacBook to create such disk for you. Of course, there are many web resources where you can download ready-made macOS high Sierra images, but I can't recommend this way. Now let's find out how to create an official ISO image of macOS High Sierra and how to use it for installation of the operating system to VirtualBox. Please note, I will show how it's done with the example of this particular system, macOS High Sierra. In case with Sierra, the previous version, the methods to create an image and install the operating system will be quite different. To create an ISO image of the macOS High Sierra installation disk, do the following. Go to App Store. Find macOS High Sierra there. Click Download and wait until the download process is complete. When macOS High Sierra installation files are downloaded, close the installation window and the App Store window too. Now go to Finder – Applications. Find the completed download of macOS High Sierra to make sure it was successful. You can say it's successful only if there is a completely downloaded system image file of about 5 GB. In this case, you can go straight to the terminal and run commands to convert the downloaded macOS High Sierra installation files into the ISO format. The matter is that sometimes the system doesn't let you download the entire installation kit from macOS High Sierra. Instead, you only download a 20 MB installer application, which then downloads the full version during the installation process. This is the installer that I have just downloaded. I don't need it because I can't use it to create an ISO image of High Sierra, so I delete it. In this case, you can download the full installation kit for macOS High Sierra with macOS High Sierra Patcher tool. Go to the kit web page and download it. I will give the link in the description as usual. Wait for the download to finish. Double-click on the downloaded file to begin installation. After the installation is over, the macOS High Sierra Patcher window will open. Drag the tool to the Applications menu. Now run it. 
Confirm your decision to open it. Okay. After that, the macOS High Sierra Patcher menu will appear in the system menu above. Click on Tools. Select Download macOS High Sierra. Confirm your decision to download the 5GB distribution package. Specify the download location, the Applications menu, and start the download. After you have downloaded the full installation package of macOS High Sierra, open the Utilities folder and start the terminal. In the terminal, enter the commands to convert the macOS High Sierra installation kit into the ISO disk. For convenience, I have copied them into a text file and now I'll paste them one by one into the terminal. Let's create an empty disk image. Mount it. Now expand disk image file base system DMG from the system installation files into a freshly mounted disk image. Dismount the disk image. Convert the DMG macOS image file into a Windows compatible ISO file. And move it to the desktop. As you can see, the ISO image file of the macOS High Sierra installation disk is created and now located in the desktop. Now let's connect a flash drive or an external hard disk to your Mac device and transfer the created macOS High Sierra installation disk image to a computer with VirtualBox. Now let's go to the computer where you need to install macOS on VirtualBox. Don't forget that macOS is incompatible with the NTFS file system. To make sure the media is recognized in macOS, format it in XFAT beforehand. Oh, let's begin. Use the link in the description of this video to download and install VirtualBox. Start VirtualBox and create a new virtual machine. For convenience, I choose Expert mode, but it's not a must. Assign a name to the new virtual machine. Select the type and version of the operating system. Allocate the random access memory for the virtual operating system. I choose 4 GB, and if you can't afford that, give it at least 2 GB. There is no point in having a virtual machine with memory less than that. I select Create a virtual hard disk. Choose the preferred size, type and format of the virtual hard disk. I will stick to default options. It doesn't affect macOS installation at all. Next. The virtual machine has been created. Now let's move on to settings. Right-click on it and select settings. I will leave general settings without changes. System, motherboard. Uncheck the box next to floppy drive and move it down. ICH9 chipset, enable EFI mode. Processor. Set the number of processors for the system we are creating. If four are available, you can allocate two for the virtual machine. It's only for the better. Acceleration by default. Display, screen. Set the video memory to maximum and uncheck the acceleration boxes. Don't change the rest. Storage. Here we can see a freshly created virtual hard disk and an empty disk. Let's connect the macOS ISO image to that disk. To do it, click on the empty disk. In the attributes, click on the laser disk symbol, choose virtual optical disk file. Select the macOS ISO image, open. 
Leave other settings at default and save the settings. Now an important aspect. There are some things to be done to this virtual machine. Close VirtualBox, start the command prompt and enter the following commands. I'll paste them from a text file I have prepared in advance for my convenience. I'd like to point out that all in all commands macOS should be replaced with the name of your virtual machine. Now go to Oracle VirtualBox folder. CD Type in After that, run VirtualBox. Start the virtual machine and it starts the installation process for macOS. The virtual machine for macOS will start booting. You will see many lines with information that sometimes looks like errors. However, if you did everything right, the installer graphical interface will start soon. In the first window, choose the system language. In the next window, select Disk Utility from the list of tools. The matter is that this virtual disk has to be prepared for macOS installation. In the left column, you'll see the list of available disks. Choose the virtual disk you have created when creating the virtual machine and click Erase. Enter the partition name, leave the other two settings without changes and start the cleaning. After it's over, choose the disk utility, close the disk utility. In the tool window that appears, select Reinstall macOS, Continue, Continue, accept the license agreement, select the disk we have created for installation before and click Install. It starts copying of the files from the installation disk image to the virtual machine disk, followed by the system installation. At some moment, all necessary files will be copied to the virtual machine's hard disk. The system will reboot and it will need to boot from the virtual hard disk. But it's not going to happen. VirtualBox will start the installation for macOS High Sierra ISO image again. And that's the way it should be. At this stage, power off the virtual machine. Go to its settings. Storage menu. Click on the ISO image of macOS High Sierra. Click on the disk icon in the attributes and select Remove disk from virtual drive. This way you disconnect the installation disk from the virtual machine. Now start the virtual machine again. This time the virtual machine will boot the internal EFI window of the system which is installed. Enter the following commands one by one fs1 cd macOS install data cd locked files cd boot files
boot EFI. As a result, the macOS High Sierra installation graphical interface should boot, this time from the hard disk of the virtual machine. Wait until the process is over. It will take some time. After that, the virtual machine will reboot and the standard process of macOS installation and configuration will start. Select the country. Keyboard layout. Decide if you need to transfer information to this computer. I don't need it. Also, I won't be using Apple ID to sign in. I confirm my decision to skip it. Accept the license agreement. Enter username and password for the system you are installing. Continue. Here, leave default settings. Continue. Configure the keyboard with the Setup Assistant. That's all. macOS High Sierra has been installed to VirtualBox. One more time, I'd like to point out that the methods shown in this video to create an ISO image and install macOS in VirtualBox are only good for High Sierra. For the previous version of the operating system, Sierra, the methods to create the image and install the operating system on a virtual machine will differ a bit. One more note, as you can see, the default screen resolution for the virtual macOS machine is 1024 by 768. You can't change it with system settings. However, you can change the resolution with a command prompt. To do it, power off and close the virtual machine. Run the command prompt and enter the following commands. Go to the Oracle VirtualBox folder. Change the horizontal screen size. And the vertical size. Close the command prompt and start the virtual machine. As you can see, the screen resolution for the virtual machine has changed to the settings we used. This way, you can change the resolution to any standard value – 800 by 600, 1024 by 768, uh, 1280 by 1024, 1440 by 900, 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1200. That is all for now. If you find this video useful, click the like button below and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!